The subject we're going to talk about is, uh, it's a form of marketing and copywriting. Anyone here write a lot for their website or, okay. Is there any professional copywriters here? It's a technique called priming. I'm going to write, I wrote this down in my wallet here, uh, my pocket here. I want to write down some words. Now, for this to work, you have to go with your initial instinct. I'm going to write two lists of, of words across the board. I want to know which one's the saint and which one's the sinner from list one, which will write across here. So I'm sorry if my back's to you and you can't see this. But I'm gonna write a list and a list kind of simultaneously. And as soon as you know which one's which, which one's the saint and which one's the sinner, just acknowledge that. You don't have to shout it out or anything. Just acknowledge you recognize which one's which. And then I'm gonna talk about it. Um, so now I'm really gonna block everyone so no one can see it. And I hope you can read my handwriting from all the way over there. Now don't shout it out, just... All right, so we're looking for the sinner and the saint. Okay, those are... So can you guys see those words? Can you tell instinctively which one's the sinner, which one's the saint? Do you have a gut feel? Okay. Sin, I mean the saint, right? Obviously the saint, obviously the sinner. And when you look at these words, and perhaps you notice it already, they're the exact same words. It's the exact same words. Yet instinctively, we know which one's the saint and the sinner. Why? Because there's a thing called priming. And this is how priming works. The very first word we see in a sequence sets a prejudice in our mind for the definition of every other word. Perhaps your mind operated like this. You saw the word love, and you're like, oh, okay, um, clearly a good person. Oh, and they're a giving person. This person must be great. Ordinary? Of course an ordinary person can be give, loving and giving. Taking? They're probably taking donations to give to some charity. And dark? They work in a dark room, you know? They, they work in like a cathedral or something. So all the subsequent words we see have been defined by the first word. In studies, this word has a 90% influence over every other word that occurs. This has a 5% influence. Uh, this has a 3% influence. And these be all become negligible. Okay? Now, exact same words, exact same words, 90% influence. The first word you see is dark, and then you see take. This validates this first word, and you're like, that's the sinner. And now, when it's ordinary, it's like, well, probably had a tough, ordinary life. Uh, that's probably uh, a very, you know, very difficult life. Uh, giving, yeah, they probably give a lot of trouble to other people. Uh, <laughs> and love, they've never experienced what love really is. That's called the priming effect. As marketing, as marketers, and every single person here markets our business, recognize the first impression has an extraordinary impact. It's in your attire, it's in the way you present, it's the handshake you give, but on your website, it's the words you use. And I am telling you, that first sentence on your website has a 90% influence over the rest of the site that they read. It's shocking how much we put all this effort into making this wonderful long paragraphs and paragraphs of information. That first sentence determines what everyone else sees in those paragraphs anyway. So the priming effect. I want you guys to recognize the influence of the first words. The tagline of your business absolutely crucial because that gets read. If you have your logo and a tagline under it, that's highly likely to be read. Those words are more important than the paragraph or two you have below. The way you dress has a huge impact on how people perceive the conversation going forward. So uh, when you go to a meeting and you're wearing sweatpants there, I don't care if you're Bill Gates and you're a genius, what's up with this slob? So all these first impressions have this huge impact and you just experienced it yourself. You picked out the sinner and the saint like that, and it was the exact same words. Kind of cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.